Hello Nintendad fans, this is Thomas and you know I just finished reviewing RPG Maker MV for the Nintendo Switch and there is a lot to take in on that game. So I thought I would do a brief sort of tutorial, sort of tips and tricks and show a few things that I've learned. This is going to be just a few things because there are so many things out there and there's other YouTubers with better videos than I could ever do that you could always watch, but I found some cool stuff on my own and thought I'd share. So before I watched anyone else's videos, mainly because they're PC focused, I thought I would play around on my own and see what I could figure out. And one thing that I was super proud of, and it's I'm sure a very easy basic thing that other people are like, yeah, no duh, but being able to select your own gender at the beginning of a game or giving players the option to select what gender they want and so my intro that I created is just playing through right now take a look and uh, shortly yep here it comes so I have the option where you can select either to play as a boy or a girl and it scrolls 16 years later you started out as that angel sort of thing and I've selected a girl so there you, there you go. So that is one option. I named her Evelyn just to kind of set this up for the demo. But now I'm going to go back through. I'm going to play the intro one more time. And this time I'm, I'm going to select a male character. So go ahead and take a look. And then I'll show you how I put that together. I'm just holding the button to fast forward through that. I'll just jump through the text really quick. Again, our angel type being drops down to the hospital and is confused. Like, what? What do you mean, meet me? Okay, this time we're going to select gave birth to a healthy boy. We'll just hold, skip that. And there you go. So again, now I am controlling a male character where I had that option based on the intro of the game. And I'm going to show you how to create that. I'm just taking you a quick tour outside his house. Jump back in. And another thing I added was I made it so you could walk on the bed and then take a nap. And it does restore all your stats. This is an interior that I created for testing purposes and here is the first occurrence of my gender select option and let me go go ahead and show you how I set that up and we'll just create a new event and we'll drop over here so in our contents we're gonna just start with text and I'll just keep it simple we'll put in select your gender All right, once we have that, just come back into the event creator or add the option for show choices. Now, it defaults to yes and no. You can, of course, go in and change that. You can add as many as you want, but I'm going to just, for now, select male and female just to get those two started. Then under the first option there, when the player selects male, you come in here under party we're gonna select change party member and first I'm gonna remove my spirit which I just named E so we'll issue a command that it's gonna remove that party member and we'll drop back in there and this time we're gonna keep it selected to add we're gonna go down select Evan then we'll hit OK on that so we've got our first choice entered and this time I'm actually just going to copy and paste so we'll copy removing the spirit because that's easy enough and then I'm going to copy and paste adding Evan as well just to show you how easy it is to edit hit the X button select edit go back to your list of actors select the female character Evelyn drop down save that now on the original one I created if you noticed when I displayed that it had a switch at the end of it. Now I'm still learning what the switches do and exactly how they work myself 
But I know that if you don't have a switch, then the the command or the event can run concurrently without stopping. So I'm just going to show you a demo of what I mean by that. Jump back into a play test. Now, here's my spirit, the original character that you start out as. And I come over to my event I just created and I select female. Now if I go back to that same square and I select male, it's just going to add Evan because it's still an active event that I can choose from. Now up above that event is my original event that I created and I'll show you how that switch makes it so you can't accidentally have your players add a second character when you only want them to start with one, for example, when they're getting that initial setup going. So we're just going to reload, drop back in, and this time I'm going to go above and get my original, and we'll select boy, go back, and I'm hitting the button, nothing happens. So that event is now turned off. I don't know exactly how it works, but it won't let me. But of course my event that I just created is still active and so I'm able to go in and get the female party member added in. And what's really cool is if you want to give your players class options or different race options to start with, you can you can build all of that in on those choices. Now what I'm going to do is jump back into my intro and I just created a blank screen that I added a background to and a parallax with floating clouds just to give it that sky heavenish look. Now the player won't actually be able to go here so it's only built in as this event and you can see I've got you know setting movement routes and I'll show you what that looks like. We'll just hit edit to give you an idea so again since there's no assets on the actual screen it looks blank up there but you can see the route from where the player starts to where he goes down and then I build in a transfer and that's to take the, the spirit from the heaven area to the world map. And then again I've got another movement route where it drops down the player to the hospital. Again all of this is automatic, it's built into the event. And then I fade the screen out and it's important to note I did tell the screen to fade out there. The reason why I say it's important is if you don't tell the screen to fade back in, it will stay faded out for the rest of your game. So pretty much makes it unplayable. Of course you've got my gender select up there and then I had to add a bunch of spaces to get the 16 years later centered that takes a little trial and error. And really most of this takes trial and error. Don't be afraid to experiment. And just as a final note, I forgot to add that fade in. And so I spent a ton of time trying to figure out my, why my screen was dark. And finally I had to get my son to come down and show me what I would messed up. And he spotted it right away. So again, have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Nintendad and follow us on Twitter.